This video will be a little different than uh, my normal one. For one thing, it's in a different area, <laughs> back of my yard near the woods. It's a little quieter because we're further away from the road and uh, more peaceful. We're closer to nature. That's a good thing, usually. Uh, not always, though. I wanted to make a video about um, an idea that is exemplified by a little battle that goes on today, yesterday and today, about uh, our President Trump tweeting uh, something about Mika on CNN. Um, even though it's about Mika, it's not necessarily, uh, I think there's a bigger a bigger question that this involves. So I'm not necessarily speaking sp that specific instance. Uh, but why would anyone care what I think about it? And the reason I come up with, I think this is a valid point, um, is that who am I? Well, you know, we all have our stations in life. Uh, we have our histories, we have our hopes, our dreams, 60-year-old here. Uh, but as it concerns the current discussion, well, who I am is I'm a person that approximately a year before the election last year, the presidential election, I was quite sure that Donald Trump uh, before he said he was running, I was sure if he did, he would have a good shot at the nomination. Uh, anyone at the time that I mentioned that to told me I was crazy. But uh, I had reasons. Uh, I'm a pretty thoughtful individual. I'm knowledgeable. I keep up on things. So I, I don't usually make statements that, uh, unless I'm trying to be funny, I usually try to be accurate I'm a little stickler about that but um, once he actually said he was running and he he made good on it for a couple months uh, and I heard what he had to say and I learned a lot about him not that I was completely who could be ignorant about Donald Trump well I wasn't because I actually lived in New York City for six months when I was in the military so I have some knowledge about him and uh, like I said, I keep up on things. Not just things that I agree with, but I just keep up on lots of things. And I'm also, in the, being in the trades my entire life, I'm tied to reality, the physical universe, the part of it that I occupy. So, um, so I thought he had a good shot. And as things went on, I, at every step, I was encouraged and my uh, opinion was um, strengthened by what happened on a daily basis, pretty much. You know, he went up against the party leaders, the supposed uh, real nominees, the real politicians. And he didn't back down and he held his, he held his ground and he, he, uh, he put them in their place. I mean... Right off the bat, he had Jeb Bush in trouble. And that's saying something when you talk about all the money he had behind him and the legacy of the Bush family, wonderful as it is. I love the Bushes. And uh, I'm, look where I am. So, uh, but one by one, those guys dropped. It came down to Trump, little... Marco Rubio, and uh, I forget who the, I, I think Kasich was in a little bit towards the end, but, uh, and then Ted Cruz with the, with the little hands. 
Uh, they're not necessarily would have been my first choice, but I, I, any one of those 17 guys I would have voted for because that's who I am. I'm, I'm a conservative individual. I like what they uh, stand for. I say that now knowing that they don't necessarily always stand for what they claim to stand for, which is how Trump got elected, if you think about it. And, uh, and that's maybe closer to what the point is that I want to make here today is. Um, but anyways, he, he, he got the nomination. And by that point, I, I was, I would have been, I would have been completely um, proven wrong because I was saying, "Oh, he's going to get the nomination," and uh, and he did. So okay, so I got a little cocky. Hey, I was right this time. I was right this time. He's nominated. You said he wasn't going to even run, and. Uh, and then as I talked to people, uh, their arguments were specious. They were without merit in most cases. Even the more intelligent people, uh, and I happen to have a, a group of people around me that almost all of them come from the New York City area, and they, they thought they knew Trump pretty good. Um, but turns out they, they were not right. So who am I? I was right on all those occasions. Now, when it came to the the last few months, uh, when we knew it was Trump and Hillary, I got even more sure that he was going to whoop up on her big time. Uh, she was a paper tiger in my eyes. I get it. Not everyone saw it that way. <clears throat> but again, I'm tied to the physical world. And uh, I keep getting proven right, so I get a, you might call it arrogant, but it would be a fool who, who is proven right over and over again and then says, well, maybe I'm not right. Maybe I should think I'm, I'm a stupid idiot like those people over there. But uh, I'm not like that. I, I, I keep going. If, if things keep turning out the way I think they're going to, I stick with it. I stick with what works. If it doesn't work, I change something. So, uh, so, but ultimately, who am I? I'm the guy who on election night watched as the people who were in the dark, and I watched four different channels. I went from CNN to Fox to MSNBC to ABC, NBC. Pretty soon I was down to MSNBC and CNN because Fox was getting boring to me. It was watching the, uh, the opposition and I marveled, even today when I watched the tapes, I marveled at the, I think it was like getting close to 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and the people on CNN were, and MSNBC were you couldn't pull them away from thinking they were winning. I remember on CNN, the one guy they had that was doing the electoral map every few minutes, he kept trying to get their attention. Hey, you know, I, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but, uh, you know, with this and this, the way things are going, you add that, and this actually could go Trump's way, or it could be a long night. They were completely ignoring him because Hillary was going to win. Why waste time on that? You're doing a good job, and you're doing the job you're paid for, but it isn't really going to happen the way you're saying it. And then, sometime after 9, they started showing the Hillary camp, and uh, those people were starting to look. You had a lot of still not a clue, everything's going good, but... More and more, they were starting to worry. You had worry on their faces. And um, between 9.30 and midnight, their world came crashing down around them as they slowly came to have no options. No options. 
even though they wanted it, even though they believed in it, reality was hitting them in the face. And at some point, you, you just can't deny it, that Hillary was likely the loser that night. So to come back to my original question, who am I? I'm the guy that all along thought Trump would run, thought he would win the nomination, and thought he would win the election. And I'm not saying that I knew the eventual outcome other than he would win. Uh, I did not think it would be that close, uh, and it wasn't that close. It, it wasn't a, a runaway either, but it wasn't that close. And, um, and it was so consistent, you know. Um, I think it was missed by the liberals and the Democrats that were watching. It was missed what was going on because, oh, that's an aberration. No, that, that thing going on in Florida, that North Carolina, Georgia, aberration, you know. They didn't see the connectedness. And I did because I'd been following this and, and I was tuned in to what the people, people like me, and it uh, turns out there were a lot of them. Uh, so I'm rambling a little, so let's get down to it. I'm the person that knew in my heart and in my brain and could defend it that Donald Trump was going to win. And... Uh, I was right. I, I could have been wrong, but in this case, I was correct. And then what happened after he won really was the, the crowning glory of my personal um, approach in that I was thoughtful and I tried to be measured and not see things that weren't there and tried to admit things that I didn't want to admit and the icing on the cake I guess is what I'm saying was the complete insane behavior of the losing side because it, it really showed that what I thought was happening actually was happening because these people even today we're talking six months over six months and they still can't come to terms with what happened and they'll grasp at anything that pops up in the news it was hillary was uh distracted by the investigation by comey oh he did her wrong a few days before by saying that there were other emails and <clears throat> of course i never bought that the emails were all her the fact that they found him, it's like saying, it's not my fault I was speeding, it's that damn officer who pulled me over and used the radar today. It's his fault that I got pulled over and given a ticket. No, no, not really. It was my fault. Okay, I'm out of the two people, I'm the one that could have changed behavior easier, and it would have been more in line with what we would hope for, right? So, Hillary's defenders, are uh, proven to be um, out of touch with reality, number one, and um, in some cases without character because the vindictive and dismissive attitude they have and the hateful... Now, I'm not saying this is everybody. Unfortunately, if it bleeds, it leads, right? So that's what we see. That's what I'm looking at out of all the various news outlets is I see the lunatics, and there, there's not a few of them. you got to admit that. There, there's, there's a good share. Even the people that get paid to give us the truth have now been shown to be fake news over and over again especially CNN. I knew CNN was fake news 25 years ago when I watched the OJ trial and, and other things that were going on. I'd watch it on C-SPAN and I'd watch it on the news and I'd go, what the hell? Were they, were they watching the same thing I watched? And CNN was by far the worst. Terrible. 
terrible bias. And uh, so that's who I am. I'm a person that thought he knew and did. Okay? Many of the people that I'm trying to get this message to, because my guys, my people already know all this. Okay? They, they get it. You guys are still not getting it, even today. Uh, you think that Trump is the enemy. No, Trump is not the enemy. Okay? I'm the enemy. People like me, that believe like me, that think like me, not, I don't mean exactly like me, because you, you're going to watch this and you're going to think, there's not a lot of people like that. I don't mean personality, I mean devotion to country. Duty, honor, country. People like that. There's many millions of us, obviously. And we all have our own quirks, but we're not quirky about what is the truth and how can truth be discerned and what does it mean when it isn't true? What does it not mean? We're thoughtful individuals. We don't tend to go off the beaten path of what works and therefore we're more often right than wrong not just on who gets elected but on everyday life should I risk driving this car that I haven't checked out recently on this little bit longer trip than it normally takes absolutely not no I shouldn't why well chances are it'll break why will it break Murphy's law I know there's probably no guy named Murphy but it works. It works every time. Or almost every time. Much more than it doesn't work. So, um, why is this important? It's important for one main reason. If the lunatic fringe slash heart of the Democratic Party, as they've become, thinks that Trump is the enemy, and they don't realize that, no, it's the people that put them in office, it's people like me, then they may do whatever they can to destroy his presidency. And of course, if that happens, if he's largely ineffective, which I don't see that happening, I think he'll go to his grave before that happens. He's very dedicated. And, but let's say, let's say uh, you either cripple him, and he doesn't get reelected, or even if he gets reelected, he just uh, doesn't get done what he needs to get done. Guess what? I'm not going anywhere. A few of us may die, but not enough. And we're going to put another person in there. If we think you didn't get the message the first time, we'll be more likely to do what you guys do put a lunatic in. Because Trump, if you think Trump is a lunatic, look at the guy leading North Korea. He's a lunatic. Okay? That's a lunatic. You see, I've been around the world a little bit in, in the military. If you think Trump is a lunatic, Trump is a, a, he's as tied to reality as anything. And it's proven every day. Yeah, he says some funny things, but everybody does. That's another thing. You people, you say some of the most outlandish things, and then when he says something, you go crazy. Well, you don't see that as a problem? You're, you, you have no integrity. That's the problem. People like me that voted for Trump have integrity. We will not allow our country to go down the tubes just because you all think that's the best thing. We know you're wrong. You've been proven wrong time and again. Nothing about that is going to change. So be careful what you beg and plead for because you could do much, much worse. And I've seen worse. I've been to other countries where they don't have, when you mention health care, they go, what? They don't even know what that is. They don't know what the term means. Okay. If you mention death, that they get. If you mention food and water, that they get. 
okay? Because that's their life. Food, water, death or not death today. Okay? That's the world. That's much more of the world than you want to admit. And it's not our fault. <laughs> the fact that we're able to be here and have the ability to, to have a stable nation so that we can help other countries, that's a, tri a tribute to our founders, obviously. So I'm getting off the path here. What I'm saying is we'll find another Trump or one that's worse. You know, we may pick a real lunatic if he convinces us that he's serious and he's the guy for the time. Donald Trump from day one in my book was the man of the hour. I'm a Christian. I thought God sent him. I still do. Guess what? You're going to complain about, well, he's not a Christian. How do you know he's a Christian? God doesn't only send Christians to do his job. See, you don't read the Bible. That's why you don't get it. And rather than me tell you how that's true, just go read the Bible. Go learn from Christians what the Christian Bible teaches. You don't have to believe it, but you should at least know what it teaches. Okay? I believe it's, it's history. And God did not... He allows the rain... It's actually raining now. He allows the rain to fall on the righteous and the wicked. Okay? The wheat and the tares grow together. They're separated at the harvest. So, God is God. He does what He wills. And He knows what works. Even better than me. So, uh, be careful what you wish for. Because I, as a Christian, am telling you, that God is testing America. It's what he's done in the past. And he, he, God does not change. And what he's doing is he's giving us reprieve opportunity. He's saying, you've moved away from me, just like Israel. And Israel went into bondage. And then he redeemed them again to say, see, I'm still here. You are my people. I am your God. And that's what he's saying to America. We are his people. And even the people that haven't become his people have a chance. But there is a time when God washes his hands. And I fear that that time is coming. So when the time comes... God will be able to say truthfully, I wanted to gather you as a hen gathers her brood of little baby chickens, and you would not allow me to. So, number one, be like a little chicken and let God gather us and protect us. It's no crazier an idea than some of the conspiracy theories that you all believe. <laughs> like the Russians are the reason that Hillary lost. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's what I offer today. Be careful what you wish for. Pull yourself back into reality. Grow up. Get out of college. Start paying those bills. I hope you can get a job. Obama didn't leave a lot of jobs laying around, okay? And once you get out of that, that place where you're covered from reality, you'll start seeing the things that I've seen. And you'll be better for it, and we'll all be better for it. That's a better way than for you to ruin the Trump presidency in any of a number of ways, and, and then we get worse. If it is worse. I think it would be better, personally. <laughs> it's up to you, though. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.